Ukraine has made huge strides in developing and deploying air and sea drones during its ongoing war with Russia. It is therefore logical that Ukraine will also invest in ground robots, using its successes in other fields and its strong reserve of qualified engineers and developers, Forbes writes. Despite these investments and projections, it is unlikely that Ukrainian ground robots will achieve the same level of success as their air and sea systems, the analysts write. At first glance, the premise of ground robots seems quite promising. These robots could be deployed in dangerous situations such as minefields, reducing the need for human presence. Ukraine could use the same advances in AI and autonomy that are used in their air and sea robots for their ground systems. Most importantly, ground robots could solve one of Ukraine's biggest problems, attrition, the nature of the current war, where victory depends on which side can consistently field more fighters. Russia, with its large population, has an advantage in this regard, while Ukraine is struggling to replace its losses. A key goal of Ukraine's ground robotics program is to use ground robots to compensate for these losses, reducing the number of troops on the front lines. However, there are many challenges associated with ground robots that the Ukrainians have not encountered in the air and sea domains. One of the main problems is related to control signals. Military robots, as a rule, cannot rely on commercial networks and are therefore controlled via military radio systems, which require a direct line of sight between the controller and the operator. While this is easier to do when the robot is in the air or on the water, it is much more difficult when the robot is on the ground. Additionally, ground robots are highly susceptible to electronic warfare and jamming. Due to signal attenuation caused by range and terrain, the robot receives a very weak command signal that can be suppressed by jamming equipment. Additionally, many Russian electronic warfare systems can detect and triangulate signals to and from the robot, allowing the Russians to target both the robot and its operator. The Ukrainians likely used electronic warfare to counter the Russian ground robot attack, and the Russians, with their extensive experience in electronic warfare, could have achieved similar success using this tactic. Autonomous systems face additional challenges because of their predictability. Robots follow a set of algorithms programmed by developers, and even advanced machine learning algorithms are limited by the data sets they are trained on. This forces robots to respond to certain situations in predetermined ways. Additionally, sticky or slippery surfaces, such as oil or special adhesives, can cause robots to lose traction or become immobilized. Chinese state media reports Typhoon Gami has made landfall in China's southeastern Fujian province after crossing Taiwan and sending heavy rains into the Philippines that sank at least one ship and left more than 20 dead. China's CCTV news channel reported that Gami made landfall in Fujian province and is expected to unleash heavy rains over much of China as it heads to the northwest. State news agency Xinhua reported Chinese officials said they had evacuated more than 150,000 people in the province ahead of the storm. Authorities evacuated nearly 300,000 people and suspended public transport across eastern China. Officials in Taiwan said businesses and schools were closed across much of northern Taiwan for a second day Thursday after Gami, the strongest storm to hit the island in eight years, swept through, flooding streets, knocking out power and leaving three people dead and hundreds injured. Video posted on social media showed streets in the capital turned into rivers, with shops flooded and water reaching over the wheels of parked cars. Taiwan's meteorological office said several areas of the island received more than 100 centimeters of rainfall between Wednesday night and midday Thursday. China is enduring a summer of extreme weather, with heavy rains across the east and south coming as much of the north has sweltered under successive heat waves. They have relocated more than 290,000 people in Fujian and shut down public transport, offices, schools and markets in some cities.